Welcome to the Hover Air X1 Pro and Pro Max tutorial. Here, you'll see the X1 Pro and Pro Max along with the accessories designed for various scenarios. First, let's get to know your device. Open the box to find the flying camera, first flight instruction card, data cable, cloth bag, and user manual. Follow the instructions on the first flight card. First, connect the charging cable to the USB-C port to activate and charge the battery when using it for the first time. To replace the battery, hold it on both sides and gently pull it out. Scan the QR code. Download and install the Hover X1 app. Press and hold the power button for 3 seconds until the green light turns on. Open the Hover page in the X1 app. Then tap the green Activate button to complete the activation. The digital screen will display the current flight mode and parameters. Short press the left or right button to change the flight mode. Long press the left or right button to toggle through parameters, such as distance or height. You can also configure more settings through the app, Customize the flight modes displayed on the digital screen. Power on the device, unfold it, and select hover mode. Short press the power button or use the voice command. Hover. Take off. To change and defilters, filters, gently push up the lens frame. Make sure to do this while the device is turned off. Landing the X1 Pro and Pro Max is simple. Place your hand about 20 centimeters below the device, and it will automatically land. Place the device face up in an open, unobstructed area and wait for about 30 seconds. Once the Omniterrain icon lights up, Hover is ready to fly over water, cliffs, and in low light environments. If the icon is not on, avoid flying in these complex conditions but you can still fly safely in well-lit areas with sufficient ground texture. Use the charging hub and 65 watt power adapter to fully charge one battery in 45 minutes or two batteries in 60 minutes. We've also specifically designed the Thermo Smart Battery and Power Case to operate in environments as cold as minus 20 degrees Celsius. The power case supports two and a half charging cycles, providing an additional 40 minutes of flight time, allowing you to charge anywhere, anytime. Open the case. Use the adapter removal tool to remove the charging adapter. Attach it to the X1 Pro or Pro Max and slide it into the power case to start charging. Hover will automatically enter sleep mode after 60 seconds of inactivity. Once charging is complete, Simply take it out, short press the power button to wake up the device, and you're ready to fly again instantly. Power case can also serve as a power bank, allowing you to charge your phone anytime. Download your videos, tap hover album, and after connecting to your device's Wi-Fi, you can preview videos you've shot and download them quickly to your phone. You can also use the below methods to download your videos. In the top left corner of the hover page, you can see the hover's battery level and storage space. Tap the hover settings button and select a flight mode, such as zoom out to adjust distance, flight height, resolution, slow motion, and more. In smart preview mode, you can monitor what the camera is capturing and set flight and camera parameters through the X1 app, such as flight height, frame rate, and 2X digital zoom. In manual control mode, Tap the camera button on the left to adjust settings like ISO, EV, and shutter speed. On the flight mode page, you can explore different flight modes, view details, and adjust settings. Tap create to use hover special templates and make cool videos with just one click. The Hover X1 app supports AI noise reduction for sound recording using your phone, earbuds, microphone, or the beacon automatically eliminating propeller noise. You can choose between light and deep noise reduction in the app settings. Please do not turn off your phone screen or switch to another app while recording. 
X1 Pro is equipped with rear proximity sensors that detect obstacles and can automatically stop in low-speed scenarios, up to 1.5 meters per second. The X1 Pro Max has the same proximity sensors as the X1 Pro and an additional vision sensor. It can detect rear obstacles and automatically stops in low-speed scenarios, up to 3 meters per second. You can activate the return to home feature by tapping the landing button in the X1 app or by long pressing Beacon's function button. Power on the device and open the X1 app. Tap the software update button and wait a moment for the OTA update to complete. Once it's done, your device will automatically restart. If you have any more questions, feel free to contact Hover Air Support Team or join our community to learn more. Now it's time to fly. We can't wait to see the incredible videos you'll create.